today video we're reacting to, he's not my dad, he's my boyfriend. But actually, he's his dad and his boyfriend. He's duo queuing. He's so tough at this. So we're going to be reacting to this. Um, Love don't judge. So we're not going to be judged. You know, we're very unjudgmental people. Maybe I'll fuck a bitch with Down syndrome. Who knows? I'm very unjudgmental. Like, comment, subscribe to join the Gator Goons or the Gator Gang. Y'all could pick once I blow up more because we don't know yet. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people that follow me happen to tilt guns. I don't know why. People that like my humor happen to be thugs because they probably kill each other. Fucking delinquents. This is 23-year-old Caleb. He fell in love with 56-year-old Mark. Ugh. I think Mark's best quality is definitely his eyes. Their relationship has received criticism due Which to one? their age. What the? Don't kiss in front of me. I'm not homophobic, but pause. Which one y'all hitting first? Me personally, I ain't gonna lie. I'm probably picking the one on the right. I don't really like double chins that much. Yeah. When I get comments that are um, calling my boyfriend a flat out like pedophile, um, those are the only ones that trigger me. What the fuck? I'm just, just the most disgusting I've seen. With friends and family also worrying about the age Smash. difference. Like, you are way younger than him. With mounting pressures from haters, can their relationship survive any additional turmoil? Just to start with the cheating. Are you comfortable with me talking about this? I'd rather not. W, bro, I can see you are. I can already know who the top in the relationship is. The older man is the top. He pressed him. Pancakes and eggs. <laughs> Wait. He's his dad and his boyfriend. That means he's bisexual because... How's he fucking his own son? That means you gotta be a little gay to do that. It doesn't smell that. I know, it doesn't really look like a pancake. What the? Is this an egg <laughs> omelet? It's weird. It's it's so. I did not want one of those. Do you want to go get breakfast? <laughs> Maybe that's what we should do. How and me and Mark met, um, it's not the most conventional way. I was 17 and he didn't necessarily know that. Caleb and I met, I was 49 and he was 17. Of course people are gonna have an issue with it. I, I didn't necessarily expect when I met Caleb that I was gonna fall in love with him. I took my friend's phone who I was living with and I downloaded the app I'm sure everyone knows of Grinder, and I just started messaging and I got a message from this one guy. Me, I'm a grinder. you see what I'm saying? YouTube it every day, three TikTok every day. Somebody like me is a grind. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, he seemed really nice, so he wanted to meet. I thought, why not? So the next day, I went and I met him, and ever since I have been with him. I started thinking that Caleb was the one. I'm gonna say a few months into us seeing Wait, one another, we had probably gone out maybe eight or ten times or something over the course of the first few months. I mean, I it it was not something I expected because of him being that much younger than me. I can't see your face. When I that's Riz. W Riz. Hi, baby. Hi. Whilst Mark was initially concerned about their age gap, he's found mounting judgment about their relationship difficult to deal with. As far as judgments, <laughs> if they see an older person walking alongside of a younger person, it's probably going to be, oh, that's his son, that's his nephew, that's something. <laughs> right? Wait, they're not actually dad and son? Oh, I thought they were actually dad and son. People just think that. Oh, I thought they were gay as shit. Gay ass incest people. I thought they were the island boys. I'm an incest boy! Online, oh, it's fun. very harsh. Me and my um, man Dante Everything like from I must be a pedophile to this is sick to I don't need to repeat them all, but there's just a lot of people with very closed minds who believe two men shouldn't be together. If an older man's dating a younger woman, that, that seems to be like, oh, he's got his trophy bride, or it's, it's almost like the high five thing. <laughs> Um, but if an older man is dating a younger man, it's somehow or another sick and twisted. I don't know. Caleb has a popular YouTube channel, Go! which frequently features Mark, and his relationship has been criticized harshly online. When I get comments that are um, calling my boyfriend a flat out like pedophile, um, those are the only ones that trigger me. It triggers me specifically because it's a real occurrence. Um, there are actual pedophiles. Um, my boyfriend is in a consensual relationship with a 23-year-old male. People shouldn't judge age don't gap. Don't show me shit like that. I don't want to see him reminisce this. Relationships in general, um, especially if I'm the two homophobic. are of legal age and they're both in a consensual homophobic. relationship. So one of the judgments is that I must be buying his affection. Um, and, you know, the YouTube channel probably encourages that because a lot of his titles are sugar baby and blah, 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 blah. They're sensationalized and they, they intend to get people, well, what is this all about, right? So they have to go watch the video, but he's not a sugar baby. He's very capable of taking care of himself and he wants to. But the couple have had to deal with more than just judgment online. They've had their own relationship issues to contend with. Just to, to start with the cheating. Yeah. Um, well, I call it the cheating, even though it was, you know, are you comfortable with me talking about this? I'd rather not. 
So basically, my I have a pimple inside my belly button. Boyfriend has been cheating on me on my Instagram. I got a message from this account called I'm so into Mark. For the past few months, he's been sneaking away to my apartment. Oh, <gasps> what do you have to say for yourself? Who is this person? No, she's bomb ass up there. It's really hard to resist. Stay away <laughs> from my boyfriend. He's my hunk. I know he's sexy, and that's why I'm trying to keep him off my channel. I'm sorry, you did look. How do I overcome him cheating? Um, well, basically, that was a hard lesson that we, we learned not to share. Mark is human. I'm human. I wouldn't be lying if I didn't say I didn't make mistakes myself in this relationship. Um, but I think what's important is to grow from it. I agree. We're stronger today. Even Caleb's mm, grow through what you go through. Mm, he ate that one up. He ate that one up. This is friend is also concerned about their relationship. This sugar. You smell amazing. Are these for me? Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for bringing those. So excited for you guys. So I know we already talked about this before, but I want you to be honest. What do you, what do you think about Mark now that you met him a couple more times? What do I think about Mark? Yeah. Obviously as a friend, I think about long-term things. I think about his health, like you're a super adventurous person. And is he gonna be hiking mountains with you? Right, that's why I keep telling him. That's actually what I'm telling him. Exactly, so I mean, obviously I thought about that. Other things that I think about are like, concerns as far as you don't wanna were. hit this? Like you are way younger than him, yeah. so that crossed my mind a little bit. But it's so weird because when I met Mark, like instantly, I didn't have any of these doubts anymore. You're not the first friend to tell me that. I think it takes meeting him in person to understand absolutely the, the dynamic, like between us. Because mm -hmm. I'm sure you assume like, oh, maybe it's just for money or something. I think that you guys really balance each other out. Oh, thanks. I feel like that too. Honestly. I'm sure a lot of people expected this to be some weird flash in the pan and you know he's doing this and then either he'll move on to a new sugar daddy or whatever it was right. We've been together for it's just shy of six years. We've outlived a lot of marriages and we oh, don't yeah, have any I knew the Discord kid. I knew it. 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 I could have guessed that. I swear to God I could have guessed that. It's Look just shy of six years. We've outlived a lot of Just like me. That's my twin. Mark and Mike. Of marriages with and Mark. With we us. don't have any intention of parting ways i mean we're we're very happy together we're about to buy our well we're in the process of buying our dream home in hawaii and moving to the islands you know i say mark's best quality is definitely his eyes i just think he is so handsome and the outside matches the inside truly pause pause now we know what the inside of him feels like feels like this fucking rough Ugh. just old and rough Caleb's best quality is he's very compassionate. He cares about his friends. He cares about the world. He cares about our little loved ones. Um, and he cares about me. Despite kids. the judgment and difficulties they face, the couple's relationship still has hurdles to jump, but they remain committed to their love for one another. The most difficult thing is knowing that, like, I'm probably gonna die when Caleb's sometime in his 40s. His, like, in the prime of his life, quite literally, I'm gonna disappear. And hopefully I don't go out like a lot of people do, which is this slow, fade, horrible, lengthy death, you know? I'm, my goal in life is to die with a look of surprise on my face. Like, really, right now? I look forward to spending my, the rest of my life with you. Maybe he gets too old, he fucks him in the butt, kids up hitting it from the back, boom, dies from a stroke, dick go too deep in him, makes him have a heart attack. That would be a, probably a good death for him. This is the most zestiest shit I've ever seen in my life. But I don't got no problem with gays. I'm actually not homophobic. You can't cancel me. I'm uncancelable. I have the LGBTQ on my side. Do, or, I mean, the rest of your life, I should say. Mm -hmm. And even if you're going to be in a wheelchair, or um, I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to take care of you, baby. Oh. Same way you took care of me. I mean that. <coughs> I love you. I love you too. How could I be gay? My bitch is homophobic. Hey man, if you enjoyed, actually if you didn't enjoy, because you actually watched this far in the video, it's your fault. So now you have to like and subscribe. I got you under a fucking spell. Pussy. Uh, like, comment, subscribe.